morning. It's getting cold out here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about protecting your house, protecting your electronic equipment. We're gonna talk about lightning. We're gonna talk about solar flares. That's a major issue. We're gonna talk about EMPs, I guess. We'll throw that in there too. Uh, I'll show you what I have done here on this property, protect myself and the vehicles and everything else. That's number one. Number two, funny comment. Someone opened, uh, someone asked me, said, Doc, you've got so much going on. How do you stay organized? And I don't, my life is total chaos. <laughs> I've got like 52 things I gotta get done on my list. I've got graders coming in behind the barn in the old orchard. I've decided to put up a big metal building, almost like a metal barn up there. I think it's gonna be like 18 by 40 on a cement pad. I'm running out of room. Uh, and I'm storing good equipment up inside that open barn and I gotta have a close, an enclosed space. So that's coming up, I'll show you that video. I've got on this new preparation series, I launched the first video and it's mainly about getting started and food. That's the main thing I talked about. I talked a little bit about psychology and the storms. Uh, I've got, uh, if you have a generator <clears throat> and you want to be able to use your, your HVAC system, or if you just want to protect your HVAC, HVAC system, say that 10 times fast, um, have a real hard start. So when your heat pump starts up, it goes clank. Well, there's a soft start you can put on it. Well, they came out with a brand new one and I'll link to it over on uh, the website, over on the Savage Prepping website. I'll put a link to that website down below. This is, the, uh, this is the flex model, and you used to have to choose which model matched up with your, um, with your heat pump. This one does it automatically. My neighbor actually is an HVAC technician. He's gonna come over tomorrow and install this on my system. Next, we're gonna talk about communications. I'll show you different levels of communications that I have. We actually use these around the farm all the time. They're just, uh, these are really great radios. GMRS, we'll talk about that, eh, it's okay. But one of the big things with this recent storm was communication and information. I was watching some great videos from people that were like homesteaders and farmers and they said, man, the lack of information was really hurting us. If you don't have one of these in your closet somewhere, you need to get one of these. This is um, a multi-band radio. And I know I'm getting off track here, but uh, this is some of the stuff I'll be covering. You pull it out, you can wind it up, uh, that's how you charge it. You can charge it by USB. Uh, has a solar panel on it, has a light, but you turn this on and you can get four different bands. You can get weather, NOAA weather, you can get shortwave, you can get AM, you can get FM, pull it out, and now all of a sudden you got communication. Get one of these. It's only like 20, 30 bucks or something. Stick it in a closet. Maybe have a couple of them. I plan to kind of have fun with this series and try and keep it light and keep it informative, not using fear mongering, but I will tell you this. <laughs> I was on Facebook and someone was posting pictures in Georgia of the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis. And they're like, oh, look how beautiful this is. And the sky is green and purple and blue. And I'm like, dude, do you realize what that means? Okay, so right now we are coming up on the solar maximum, which is in 2025. That means that the sun is really active and shooting out solar flares. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Carrington event, look up Google the Carrington event. It was 1850-something, 1859. It was the strongest, one of the strongest ever. Basically, all they had was telegraphs back there, and it basically caught all the telegraphs on fire. If that type of solar flare happens, and this year coming up, the next 12 months is about the time, the same time that it happened back then, we would basically lose probably a third of the country's power grid if it hit at the right time. It depends on where the, the earth is and when it hits. I have an app on my phone, it, but it basically NOAA puts off uh, warnings about geomagnetic storms. Yesterday we had a G4. We had a G4. The highest is a G5. That means the sun is getting really active and shooting off major flares. Now that starts to impact, that can take down all satellite communications, uh, GPS navigation, high frequency radios. It can really do some stuff. And if we were to have something like the Carrington event, man, that thing could blow out transformers all across half the country. That's why I'm not trying to cause fear. I'm just saying you need to be aware. When you look up in the sky and it turns green and purple and don't just sit there and say, oh, it looks kind of pretty. What you need to do is you need to understand what's going on. I get these by email and by text, and I'm like, dude, it's like four or five times a day I'm getting uh, solar flare and magnetic storm <laughs> events. It's like, holy crap, dude. Okay, so what do I do to my protect, protect myself? 
My main concern on this property is lightning. I have big trees all around. So we lost that tree and that tree, which was one of these trees over the past 12 months, I think it was. That transformer and that telephone pole got knocked out by lightning last year. They had uh, they actually came up and they actually had to throw the breaker at 3.30 in the morning. I saw trucks pull up and it took out this whole streets, all my neighbor's power because lightning hit near here and tripped that breaker on that transformer. They actually ended up coming in and replacing that pole and putting a brand new transformer there. So it kind of worked out well for me. But look at these trees. I mean, these are just lightning rods all around. I've got 40 acres and when a storm comes up, dude, I used to be totally worried about lightning. I'm not anymore. There's a product and I'll link to it down description below. It's the EMP shield. Um, and they make it for houses, they make it for cars, they make it for all kinds of stuff. Now, this is one of the only products that comes with a lightning protection of a $25,000 guarantee. And, the, the, and they get it all the time. If, if your um, house gets struck by lightning, it's a $25,000 guarantee, but they'll replace your, your unit for, I think, 50 bucks. But they want you to send it back so they can open it up and look at it. Now, a lightning strike will basically, boom, cause that unit to sort of implode. Uh, storms, electronic storms, EMPs and that stuff, no, it doesn't do that. It's actually reusable. Well, what it does is, you have to understand, I'm going to keep this real simple. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dumb this down. Whatever happens, whether it's lightning, whether it's uh, solar flares, whatever it is, there's this huge pulse of electrons coming in, let's just say. Let's just call it that. It's this huge source of energy. When it detects that, it actually pulls it in and shunts it to your ground. Got it? So it takes it and diverts it all. And here's what's funny. I used to say, a lightning storm is coming, unplug all your stuff, unplug your computer, unplug your... That's not the way this works. Whatever is plugged into your household circuit is protected by this unit. So you don't unplug anything. You actually leave it plugged in. And that's, that's why this thing is so good. So it goes against the traditional thinking of unplug my computer, you actually leave it plugged in. Uh, a quick story for you. My brother and I used to, when we were kids, we used to cook up at a summer camp and there was these cabins. My brother, there was a storm coming, my brother was shaving a candle, sitting on, we had metal bunk beds, and lightning struck near, right near our cabins. Lightning went in the air, through the knife in his hand, down his body and out his leg through the metal bed, through the metal bed. I remember that story, I just remember that story. But it's just that energy is all around. So just unplugging your appliances isn't necessarily gonna help. That's where this product comes in. So let me walk in and I'll show you. I have uh, I have one of these on the cabin because I have a panel out there. I have one inside. I can't show you my product because I'd have to take apart my panel. But let me show you where I have it. All right, so on my panel here, this is my interlock from my generator. But what they, where they want it, they want it on your first double pole breaker is where they want it and it doesn't have to be empty it can ride on top of it can ride on top of another circuit so if you've got something already in there that's fine it can ride but hidden inside here is my emp shield under here and then out here you can see the double lights out here that tells me that it's up and running it's working so you get this little indicator here so i have one on this panel i have another power panel over in the cabin i have one there let me open up my truck and I'm gonna show you my truck and my UTV. Okay, so modern vehicles are really not modern vehicles. Modern vehicles are actually kind of running computers, to be honest. And when if you have something like a lightning strike that comes near it, solar flare, EMP, whatever, it can damage your electronics and render your vehicle useless. Not always, but it can. So inside mine, I have rigged up an EMP shield for the vehicle right in here. You can see the green light says it's working. And the same thing, this is a big chunk of metal. It's gonna draw in electrons, uh, the electricity, and that's gonna shunt it down to the vehicle because it's actually grounded to the vehicle. So I have one of these here. On my UTV, which is a pretty invaluable tool for us here on a 40 acre property because we use it for fields, cutting, all that other stuff. 
on my UTV here, I actually have one of them. I actually have one of these on my UTV as well too. So same thing. It's protected. If I get an overload of energy, it's going to take it. It's going to shun it. It's going to ground it. So uh, on the website, if you go over to savageprepping.com, I'll link to it down below. Uh, use the code DOC, D-O-C, if you want to order any of these. And I forget what the discount is, but you get a discount code. It is an affiliate link. I just take any of the money we make from this stuff, I put right back in the farm property and products. I buy these products myself. That's the only way I can test them honestly and review them for you. I do not do sponsored videos, by the way. The only way I do product videos is I buy them, I test them, and this is how I can do it. So on my next video, you're going to see something really cool, and I think it's game-changing. You're going to see in 2025, this is really going to start to overtake the market as far as communications go. It's amazing. And I've got one ordered, and it'll be here in a couple of weeks. So I'm trying to hold off, but I may have to go before then. I'll also talk about simple things, about like the little radios we have. Uh, is it worth it getting a ham radio? But those little weather stations. Now, when you go over to the website, savageprepping.com, I'm completely swamped. It's not really well organized, so you can sort of search through whatever you're looking for. I've sort of got it broken down into categories of, uh, of communications, of security, and different things. Head over there. And also, I'll be posting videos. I'll be posting this same video not only on my channel, but on the Savage Prepping channel. So if you want to subscribe while you're over there, go over and subscribe to the uh, YouTube of Savage Prepping over there too. That way you won't miss any of them. Uh, I've got about 50 things going on today, so i got to get rolling. But I wanted to get going on this and get it done for you guys. I'll talk to you later. Doc.